lest we forget. Push up so the pitch there, the turf doesn't it? in the best of conditions. There's obviously would be lines on the football pitch. Here's Conway. And, uh, his shot didn't have the power to trouble Daniel Batman. Perhaps a little glimpse there though of uh, a confident young man prepared to uh, get the ball out of his feet. And he's uh, a plenty of success in recent seasons, but he's in a more central position here and he feeds Naki Wells on the right hand side. He drifts into the box, looking for Conway, who heads over the bar. It was, uh, he was just leaning back, Tommy Conway, but he got between the centre-halves. But couldn't keep his header down, it goes behind for a goal kick. Well, that's the threat that we talked about, and having seen the replay, Watford have got away with that. Here's Alex Scott, attacking Gaspar with De Silva to his left. De Silva's cross is a deep one, looks for Vyman. He'll head it down, will it come to Wells? His header down, under pressure from Gosling, Watford scramble it away Bristol City players certainly feel there was a high boot there from Dan Gosling but they're not going to get but it's a deep cross from De Silva and Vyman gets gets above Kamara it is a high foot you have to say that but he, he's got to defend it Naki Wells is going for the header unlikely to score with a header from there but Gosling swung his foot at it still we wait referee is finally ready and he takes it short to the edge of the box and Williams who slips it into the area for Andy King whose cross is deflected into the path of Bankman who was a cleverly worked free kick for the execution to slip them down with the final ball and Bankman can claim a comfortable catch set piece but the last two they've taken short and it was certainly from our angle it was rather obvious what they were going to do nil-nil here it's a Kong too strong for Wells Chowdhury finds Gosling and Gosling's forward ball with Mikeena Davis and he's nutmeg King but uh, the referee says there's no foul and then the, the long clearance will send Conway away and Tommy Conway's into the Watford penalty area. on his left foot drags it wide of the left hand post Keenan Davis nutmegged Andy King it was Pring's clearance that was curled round Cabaselli turned into a wonderful through ball for Tommy Conway pursued by the two centre halves dragged his shot a couple of yards wide of Daniel Blackman's left hand post De Silva outside him once again Left footy cross, looks for Vyman! Oh, that's a brilliant save from Batman. One Austrian international denies another Austrian international. His header looked destined from the, for the bottom right-hand corner of Daniel Batman's net. He went full length and turned it around the post. It is a very, very good save from Daniel Batman, and thankfully he was the one that was concentrated. He gets the ball out of his feet and runs at Pring, moves infield to Akumbaya, and looks for João Pedro. Flicks it to the edge of the box. Might come to Bio. Watford have had a shot. It's on the volley from Bio. It's a long way over the crossbar. He's at least attempt, an attempt to goal. It's good play initially from Bio to drive in field and a good pass. Hassan Kamara into the penalty area. Looking for Bio who heads down from around uh, 15 yards out. And it goes well wide of the left hand post. And that is the last action before the World Cup for the Hornets. It ends goalless at Ashton Gate, a big hug between the uh, two head coaches, uh, a game that uh, won't live long in the memory.